Hey there, YouTube. How's it going? I'm JP Natural, and today we're gonna be taking a look at another Dreamcast racing game. Dreamcast racing game in a long time. But in any case, we're going to be taking a look at Monaco Grand Prix for the Dreamcast. Duh. What am I saying? <laughs> Go ahead and get started. This one is developed by Ubisoft. Yes, that Ubisoft. As we're just going to see how this is. This is an unlicensed, at least in the US, uh, open wheel racing game. Although they it seems they are allowed to, they were allowed to use the tracks. They were not allowed to use the F1 drivers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that's what I was thinking. So a while else to go, but the uh, Australian Grand Prix. Let's take a look at all these fantasy liveries, which only looks like, or only sounds like, official Formula One drivers. But uh, you'd have to get the game in Europe in order for it to be an officially licensed uh, Formula One game. Uh, we'll go with Dazaro here. Alright, get controls. Right triggers to accelerate. Right triggers to break. Right triggers to break. D pads to use. Okay. Alright, let's get started. The game does have a few bit of licensings, and like I said, only in Europe is this game officially licensed by the FIA, so. In the American version, you can use the tracks. You're just not allowed to use the drivers. So it seems. And you can see how closely it does kind of look like a Formula One game with this starting. Oh, dang. Oh, we got a beat going. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this down. <laughs> Alright, let's just get started. The game only has... Okay, so now it's even more of that. It's just, you can only use the layout of the track, but you're not allowed to use the FIA sponsors. Go! And we're off. <laughs> so yeah, I've only been able to play, like... Whoa, dang it, already? Already? Dang, we're falling back already. Since I'm using a V3 emulator, I'll probably one day take a look at the European version of Monaco Grand Prix. But like I said, in the US, you can only use the track layout. You're not allowed to use really any of the sponsors. I guess Bridgestone was an exception, which is why the only official sponsors you see are Castrol Engine Oil and right. Bridgestone. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time on this. Oh, no. Checkpoint! You can tell because it actually does kind of look like a Formula One broadcast on the on the screen. And I'll spoil a little for the future. We are going to be taking a look at a the official Formula One game for Dreamcast in the U.S. Formula One World Grand Prix, and if that name sounds familiar, you'll see why soon. Right, Check for an American game, I want to use American measurements. <laughs> Dang it. Like I said, I've only played this game as a demo. Which means technology is a real thing. One part of the track. We'll do a couple of races. One well, gets three, depending on how these go. We'll do this. We'll do, uh... Silverstone. Whoa, 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 whoa! 
Well then, okay. <laughs> you know, I was thinking this was gonna be easy, but nope. <laughs> I got proven wrong immediately. <laughs> Dang it. I always do this, I always mistime the corners. Hurry up! Oh, fine game! Checkpoint! So here are the drivers after lap one. I'll have to use the official timing of Tag Healer. Like I said, the only sponsors you can use in this game were uh, cash flow engine oil and uh, switch stone tires. Okay, minute 29 seems to be the fastest lap around here. We actually moved up to 21st. I guess they put it on the brakes like too hard. Yeah, of course, as people may know, I am more familiar with the uh, Nintendo 64 version of the officially Check licensed Formula 1 game. Okay, 13 seconds off the pace. Okay, how come they can just drive it in that deep in there? Uh, we've got a couple laps to go. Okay, if we could not have last place, that'd be great. Out of the way! I was expecting to have a beat. Check form! Whoa, 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 I guess you can tell why I haven't. I guess I can see why I never really. Hurry up! Okay! You see why I never really played got this game as a kid. I don't like I said. Ah! Dang it! You can see why I only got. I only played it this game as a demo as a kid. Hey, excuse me. Ah! Okay, you know what? Forget it! We're done. We're gonna abandon our car. And we still can barely even get out of there. <laughs> Great. Alright, so next we'll go to... Great Britain, there we go. The old Silver Stone Circuit. Oh no, we can't do a custom... A championship, I'm saying, sorry. Over, back to Great Britain. We'll pick another driver. We'll do Tatsuoka, I guess. And Mason. Alright, attempt number two. Let's see if we can actually finish a race on here. Here we go. Again, we'll just skip the starting grid. Go. Five red lights. Go! And we're underway. Let's see if we can actually hold on this time. And this is the old style of Silverstone. Here we go. Already down the third. I got back at this trouble zone that I had a lot of issues with in F122. Glad to see that they're still a thing. Oh, oh yeah, they sponsor BBS. Well, what the heck was that? Did I make a mistake in breaking? Alright, well let's try to catch up! What the heck? It's a long 
jam it. I don't even know what this corner is. It's a log jam though, and nobody wants to move. Dang it. Back at the kind of the mid pack. Check Out of the way. Going too slow. At least now we're officially in the mid pack. Dang it! That last point it threw me off. Check form. Minute 36. We're going to pull out the corner and we're going to pass a word about Bailey ahead of going to Glasgow, apparently. <laughs> Just maybe that's a candidate for Ruben Barrichello, I don't know. Check form. So we're in the top 10. Dang it! Deep into that corner. Away. Ah, watch it. Maybe because I'm not actually cutting corners here. I mean, guess you can't really cut corners here. Because that'll take you into the grass. Check ah, dang it! I should have just followed the spin. Man, there we go. Ah! And again, forget it. <laughs> what was that? We're allowed to. Yeah, we're allowed to quit. Wow, what was that? Okay. Yeah. See, like Dwight Cole not getting this game as a kid. What the heck was that? Alright. Well, off to the namesake of the game. Alright, I went the wrong direction. Monaco. Seven laps of the famed circuit. Oh, no. Oh, I never even looked at these before. <laughs> Look at this. They're all the same. Well, I guess that's just the generic background. They got the names of some of these drivers. They got the stats of some of these drivers, I should say. But of course, well, you can just change them yourself. Save them onto your VMU if you so wanted. We'll go with Hammond. Uh, no, I was here. Oh no, yeah, we'll go with Hammond this time. Alright, here we go. Last attempt. <laughs> the namesake of the game was the Monaco Grand Prix. we can actually compete in a track that I'm not used to competing on, or competing well as the city circuit. I don't even know what that symbol is on the top. What's that even stand for? Here we go again. Five red lights. Go! And off we go with Monaco. X is the look behind button. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, at least we're still in it. Out the way. Out of my way! I want to at least finish. I probably could have finished the other two races, but whatever. Whoa, dang. I was sudden. Just a sudden just form. Man, I thought that was gonna clip. Clip our tires, I should say. I'm not sure these cars are supposed to go about uh, 200 kilometers an hour at Monaco. 
But whatever, we're in the lead because of it. Ah! Dang it! Like this time I went with the spin. Second leads don't mean anything. We still have the fastest lap of the race. Somehow, even though we took the lead. Checkpoint! Ow, dang it! Come on! These walls are so sensitive! That's a freaking hurry! Like total concentration here. I'm not gonna get used to that lighting thing that happens in the tunnel and then bright Check light. Well, I guess it's realistic. In their arcade game, this is realistic. Uh. Oh. oh, dang it! Out of the way! I'm just gonna keep spinning on every corner, I guess. And we're gonna let that Schumacher clone get away with the win. <laughs> what was that? I have no idea what the heck just happened. Hurry up! Check them! Hurry up! How come I didn't spin there? There's only on like the low speed corners. Checkpoint. I'm gonna at least try to finish a race here. Five, four, 
check for him. We got three laps to go. Lincoln made it into the top five now. Hurry up! Check form! See, we're only three laps to go in this race. Ah! At least again, we only luckily got spun back around right at the right direction. I feel like I need the wall a lot. Hurry up! Dang, he's loud when you get in that tunnel. Check form. This time I'm not gonna cut the chicane there. So, yeah, if you don't like loose handling race cars at every possible corner. Or just floaty cars in general, I would not recommend this game. Or even the official F1 version in Europe. Unless you can somehow manage to make it work. Hurry up! Check for right. Again, fastest lap! But again, that does not matter. We're out of the point, so we need to get to work. We might not even finish this again. Hurry up! Four, three, two, Checkpoint. barely made it. Again, we got two laps to go. Okay, for some reason, like GT2, I guess uh, this game doesn't have a looping soundtrack or a random soundtrack. And you're just left with the same song on BT. Checkpoint. Close enough to second. So I miss a, a mix of dance and like dramatic music, it seems. I still spin at that corner. Yeah, we'll just Hurry be considering up. ourselves lucky if we finish, especially in the points. Five, four, three, check four. Dang it. What the heck happened there? I almost didn't see that and ran head first into that. Hurry as long up. as again we keep it clean, we should still have a shot here. Check form. I'm a way. I must be the leader. I don't even know what happened there. You saw that, right? Oh, wait. Of course you did. So now we're in the lead. But again, we gotta make the checkpoint. Hurry up. Checkpoint. Um, oh, no, we ruined it. What the heck kind of racing is this? Okay, nope. We were so close, but we're not going to finish this game. I am so glad I never picked this up as a kid. This would have frustrated me to no end. Thank you so much for sitting by and watching me play Monaco Grand Prix for the Dreamcast. There is a PS1 version of this game I forgot to mention, so maybe one day I'll take a look at it. But until that day, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a great rest of the day, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody, and goodbye.